No man is holy above defects. However, while some try to get rid of them, others do not feel any need for that. Since you have taken refuge at the Lord's feet, you certainly feel the need of eliminating them and have also the will to do so, and the Lord too will grant you the strength for this. To sing the glory of Ishvara in the company of devotees is a means to devotion, if the right mood and proper atmosphere are kept up. But along with singing, you should also spend time in the repetition of his name in silence. If the mind continues to be unsteady, pray to the Lord, Lord, kindly make my mind steady. Know for certain that he hears whatever you say, and knows whatever passes in your mind. Both peace and peacelessness come to us, for the sake of our having experience, according to God's dispensation. We have to remain steady under all circumstances by holding on to him. Somehow, from one point of view, peacelessness appears to be more welcome, for then we can call on the Lord with greater earnestness. The Vedanta philosophy condemns nobody. What if a person be an atheist or an agnostic? The question is, is he or she sincere? Is the person ready to sacrifice oneself for the good of others and for the truth that he has known? The Vedanta says, then there is no fear for him, 